Hey guys, it's Susie with Susie Nails It, and on today's video, I'm going to use some blue glittery polish that I obtained from Claire's. It is a clear polish with blue glitter in it, and I'm going to show you guys how to do this and make it look more opaque. So stay tuned, and I'll show you how it's done. Now, since glitter polish is generally pretty thin and it doesn't go on um, opaque by any means, let me show you what I mean here. You can kind of see there, it does, it's, it's not opaque, opaque by any means. So if you guys want it more opaque, what I'm going to do for today is use another polish that's somewhat close in color. This particular one is by Wet n Wild. And it is, I can't even see what it's called. It's called Bayou Blue. The color is such a dark blue, and with the black writing on the back of the bottle, it was hard to read what it was. Okay, well, first thing I'm going to do is just some little tips here. And this already has a bit of a glittery sheen to it. And when you do the um, tips in a similar color to the glitter polish, it makes the glitter polish uh, more opaque much quicker than having to put on numerous, numerous layers of polish. And for the accent nail, I'm just going to go ahead and fill that in. All right, we're just gonna wait for that to dry and I'll meet you back in a moment. Now that we've let our blue polish dry a bit, I'm going to be adding some of the blue glitter. We'll just start dabbing that on right there on the end. Just like this. Now, even though I have blue polish and I'm putting blue glitter on top. I'm still going to put more than one layer of the glitter above this blue polish. Now with this glitter polish that I'm using, it is not blue polish with blue glitter. It is clear polish with blue glitter. So that is why I wanted to use some blue underneath. So that way I get a nice shimmery blue glitter. And there's lots of ways to do glitter polish. This is just one of them. I'll do a video at another point in time showing you just different techniques to um, apply the glitter. There we go. That is all there is to it. All we have to do now with this is wait for it to dry and apply our top coat. Now that the polish is dried, I'm getting ready to do my top coat, but one of the things that I am gonna do to this that you can do to really dress up any little um, design you do on the tips is just to add some, just some nailing striping, nail striping ribbon. Um, it's really cheap, it's um, thin, it's shiny. The silver will go very well with this blue. And the only, the biggest issue with the striping ribbon is that it can just act pretty contrary sometimes. It's one of those things where a lot of people will use tweezers for, some people don't use tweezers, and I can guarantee you whichever way you choose to go, you'll wish you did it the other way. That's just one of those things with the striping ribbon. I'm going to cut the extra off, just like that. Make sure I get the edges tucked down and grab my top coat. There we go. So definitely let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and follow me at Susie Nails It.
on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and on Facebook. And I do hope you guys have a great day.